everyone zeddy here again with a brand new video we are in information overload map right now with the year of the hydra put upon us we have the corset information expansion information we're going to give you a general update just so you know what's going on um and then i will give a full review on the corset and the expansion of the latest expansion cards including the hunter colossal in a future video so stay tuned for that but i want to give you guys there's a lot of general updates and a lot of other stuff going on with the year of the hydra so we're seeing first off their announcement of basically the corset cards that will be leaving the corset we have lock and load here unbound elemental baron rivendare so there's 57 cards are rotating out. Um, there's gonna be 72, 72 cards coming in. So more coming in than coming out, meaning there's gonna be 15 more cards than it had last year. So we're gonna have access to more cards than ever before, at least in the core set. I don't know if you calculate in classic basic, I still think it's less, but you see like lock and load, unbound elemental, Baron Rivendare will be leaving, no longer a part of your collection. And they kind of go through um, all the different classes. And um, we have a ton of cards here. I'm not gonna list them all, but you can see some standouts like Warglaze of Azanoth, um, I guess Ancient of War uh, for Hunter. Nothing too insane here. Mage is losing Water Elemental, pretty uh, iconic. Caldera, Drake, and Fallen Hero for the Hero uh, hero Power Mage supports leaving, which is kind of surprising. Um, nothing too crazy for Paladin. Paladin or Priest is losing Shadow Form, but never used it because of that Legendary. Anyways, Natalie is leaving. They're getting a new Legendary, which we'll talk about in a bit uh rogue losing blade occultist patient assassin shaman losing wind fury as well warlock not really losing much possessed villager warrior losing war song war cash um getting shield block back i am assuming and then neutrals um we take a look we're losing clockwork giant looks like none of the legendary dragons are leaving river croc though bites the bullet unfortunately and uh yeah a bunch of cards here oh we've got the update looks like um you can't see this but my hearthstone's been updated looks like it should all be live right now so yeah but you can see here we are getting the uh, league of explorers back finley brand elise and reno are coming back elise never really been playable but bran will be incredible especially with um you know shaman with all the snowfall guardian stuff that just got a significant buff reno jackson you can go highlander with whatever you want now um highlander strategies are back in standard and finley it's getting a new hero power has always been very solid so um yes and it looks like uh we have more updates as well uh, there's some adjustments coming into the game it looks like execute is going to be back to one mana and we're getting a quality back at two it went from two to four to three back to two and azure drake coming in as well uh there's an update on mercenaries they they do mention i believe that excess coins will have some use at some point this year but until they fix that i don't really want to talk about it because i still feel that mode is predatory and the fact that they are dragging their feet and taking forever to get this fixed is just kind of ridiculous so i again i really um don't know how much i want to talk about it i will take a look at that means there will be uh, more tasks to do in the next few months there's more tasks but overall they need to jump on that sooner and then we got patch notes we have patch notes for the year of the hydra we get unnerfed cards coming in a bunch of cards getting unnerfed so apotheosis and prison scrap bank uh, scrap imp blackjack stunner scavengers in ingenuity kalfa sunstrider I really hope that's not reverted to its original version because that would be um, not good for the game. Six mana, four, seven, give your spell zero every three. I really hope it's getting the non full revert, but I'll take a look in a bit. That's terrifying. Corsair Cash, Crab Rider, Moarg, Ilganoth, Deck of Lunacy, Bog Spine, Dreadlord's Bite, Shard Shatter Mystic, Solarian Prime, Guardian Animals, Blood Boil Brute, Prison Anton, Janus, High Vessel Laura, Polkelt, Evocation, Priestess of Fury, Kane, and Cabal Acolyte. I'm fine with all those, but I'll have to take a look. If Kael'thas is um, back to its original form, that's actually really problematic and could lead to real problems in wild because it was problematic in wild when it got nerfed the first time so that's scary we got diamond drekthar is here now um this was going to be a free reward um but now it looks like it'll be uh purchasable i don't want to know how much that is actually i'll take a look in the shop really quickly before we log out my update's ready and there's a uh, new battlegrounds hero in uh any storm coil villain dawn grasp um as well as a new board state task system rework 
Again, I don't want to cover mercenaries until they fix the mode. I don't want to give it publicity. They have all these new mercs. They're, they're fine pushing out all this new stuff or reworks and all that, but like they're not quick to fix the actual economy and make the game better. It's kind of hard to support the mode that way. And then yes, the new heroes coming to duels. We've already covered this with Reno, with Finley, with Elise, with Bran, all awesome stuff. So yeah, these are the basic updates for everything. I'm going to get going on card reviews. Um, they'll be up as soon as they are done. But before we do that, I want to take a look at the uh, the patch. I want to see, um, first off, we'll check if Kel'thas is it. I'll check Kel'thas for the card review. Um, but I do want to check because I don't, I'm not going to go over cosmetics and stuff. Uh, how much exactly they're charging for this diamond portrait that we were going to get for free if the horde had won. Um, apparently I got this again. I, I've, I've already got this. We got bugs aplenty already. I already completed this quest line. Classic Blizzard. <laughs> I just want to check out something here and I'm getting spammed with pop-ups that I shouldn't get. Uh, let's take a quick look and it's buggy. The menu is still buggy. Uh, where is Drek'thar? We got to find out for you guys. It's not even in here. So I can't, oh, there it is. Uh, it's merely $32 or 3000 gold for one diamond card. Ridiculous. We'll see you guys soon with the card review. Don't buy this. Although I might, I don't want, I don't know. Anyways, we'll see you soon. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.